Okay, this is a quick video I'm going to do on the uh, TP-Link TL-WDR4300. It's a version 1 router. And uh, basically I've been asked uh, to show uh, someone how to set up uh, the USB uh, storage and uh, sharing on this uh, router. This router actually has two USB ports on the rear, which you can use to attach uh, network uh, sorry, to attach a USB key or USB driven hard hard drive or storage drive if you wish. So first thing you need to do is let's go to the router which is 192.168.0 uh, sorry, dot zero, sorry I get that right, 0 0.1 and it asks you for a password. The default password is admin and uh, so it's admin and then admin again. So the username is admin, password is admin there we are we're in next we're going to go to USB settings and as you can see it's uh, seen my drive already I'm just going to eject it and uh, put it back in again yeah that's fine okay so let me plug it back in All right, it's back in again. So, uh, so right now, this is what it's found. It's uh, nothing's there. By the way, the instructions on how to do this are here on the right. So I'm just going to hit rescan. See what comes up. And there it is. It's a 16 gig USB key, but it, this will work for a hard drive as well. Again. Uh, as you can see, there's many options here. You can, uh, it says service status stop. So first, uh, let's hit start. Okay, now it's started, and that means it's actually sharing out. And as you can see, uh, you have several options. Access shared storage with password. Now, if you click on this, they, it'll go to what the default user account is, which is down here. So go to user accounts. And as you can see, username and password, admin, admin. Read, read and write. Uh, you can add a new user and limit those or modify this one if you wish. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, let's go back to USB. And uh, let's see. Sorry. Yeah, USB set settings. And as you can see, it's, uh, it, it's up and running. Uh, I'm doing it without the password. I could, I, I'll, let's just turn that on. Access with a shared password. All right, and then on the right, it tells you how to get to it, right? Uh, I'm using Windows uh, 7, so uh, as, you, as you can see, it says go to your uh, start, go to your run. In the run, type in, uh, sorry, uh, in the search, type in run, sorry. And uh, you can use either the uh, tplinklogin.net, as they say there, so let's get that down. There's mine. And click OK. And as you can see, it's going to ask me for a password. So it's admin is the username. Admin is the password. And there it is. Shared, uh, the shared volume shows up. It's right there. Double click it. And as you can see, there's uh, it's HBCD. It's uh, Hiram's boot disk that I have in there. And just you navigate through it normally. Okay. So uh, let's go back to volume nine where we were actually here. Uh, you can see it's right there. Um, also, you'll see in your network that it's shown up as TP login net, right? So if you open that up, you'll see that it's, uh, it, you know, you can uh, drill down through it. Uh, and once you get to this point, uh, actually, I think here, you can do what they call map a network drive. So you can make it a permanent connection to your computer by clicking map network drive. And as you can see, it says, uh, what letter do you want to give it? Well, Z uh, is usually the, the default, but I have other things on there. So it's going to go on to X and it says reconnect that logon. Well, if you're going to leave it plugged in, go ahead, leave that on uh, and hit finish. 
and now it's lo now it's one of your drives. It's the uh, it's going to be an X drive. Okay, and there it is right there under com computer X drive. So double click on that, you go into it. Okay, so that's how you access that and how to use it. Um, back to the router. You can shoot. You can go to it without uh, having a, a password. Um, if you're the only people, if you're the only person that's going to access it, I would say um, even then, still put a, a username and password and change it from the default. Don't make it the admin admin uh, password uh, user password combination, as it's uh, very common. Uh, you don't want to get hacked. Uh, okay, at this spot, uh, this point, you're you're basically done. You've shared out your USB key or USB drive out to the internet, out to your network. Okay. And uh, storage sharing, as you can see, I'm not sure what the difference is here, but uh, looks exactly the same. So let's go back to USB settings. Yeah. So basically, I'm sorry, but it's uh, I didn't realize I'm I'm already in storage share, sharing. You can use an uh, use it as an FTP site. So if you go here to FTP server, you'll see that it started. Also, you may want to stop that. Uh, you know as that is being shared out to the internet so you know you may want to stop that out uh, well here it is it says uh, even though it started on his start even though it started uh, internet access is uh, by default disabled good thing um, media server uh, again it stopped you can uh, uh, start it and then use it any way you wish instructions are over here but my main thing here was uh, to show you how to uh, use the uh, use the sorry the uh, USB port to share data to your network, so it becomes like a network drive. Okay. All right. So, and again, there it is. There's your. Uh, I would seriously say, hey, change this to something different from admin and admin for the password. And if you want to really protect it, change the read and write to something else. Let's go to edit. There you go. There's your options. You can say read only. Uh, you can change the, the uh, you can't change the admin name, but you can create another user with a different name. And then change that. So uh, you can say yes or no to FTP access as well. Let's go back. Let's uh, add a new user just for kicks. And... Uh, Change that to whatever you want. Let's say uh, user. I'm just going to use admin. Who cares? And uh, read only and no. That's fine. Save. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, it looks like you can't get rid of the admin uh, user account. So let's change. Let's go back to this. No, can't change it. Can't delete it. Uh, but you can change the password on it so I would do that okay so there's how you access the USB port uh, on this uh, TP link uh, TL WDR 4300 router uh, it's a nice little dual band router I highly recommend it it's been working great for me uh, it will also take uh, the DDWRT firmware which I will do in another video to show you how to install that okay so there's uh, the USB sh uh, sharing function. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yes, oh, one more thing I want to show you. Uh, in the run command, if you're going to go looking for this, right? So uh, we go to the uh, Windows button, go to the search, and just type in run. And then instead of the tplogin.net, you don't need to use that. You could also use uh, just the IP address of the device. Okay, so hit OK, and same thing happens. It, you know, it asks you again, admin, admin, and there it is. So either way, it works. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and enjoy.